Hello, Tony. What's up, Tony? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Very well, thank Very you. Very well, man. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on the second season of uh, Mayans MC. What a terrific show. What a deeply written show this is. You must be very proud. Very much so. I think you hit the nail right on the head by saying it's deeply inside of what we're doing. Um, people who have been watching it are, are very happy to uh, experience this understanding because of the fact that it does allow them to think about this in another perspective when it comes to the issues that are dealing along the border. Uh, the complexity of the uh, Reyes family, uh, my, my two boys and myself, inside of this world is, is overwhelming. It's, a deal, it's, it's for great storytelling. Uh, my boys are, are trying to do the work of the club, but at the same time they're trying to do the work that they feel is really, really paramount to understanding what's going on along the border. So they're cut in, 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 in the second season uh, the Galindo family, which Danny uh, portrays uh, brilliantly, um, is uh, very deeply moved by the complexity of what they're into. I mean, it's a real Shakespearean work done on, in with uh, uh, contemporary uh, political structures that are happening this moment in time. That's, that's very interesting because I was going to bring that up. I see a lot of King Lear in this yeah. in this series yeah. Yeah, there is a little bit of that for sure <laughs> i mean shakespearean i think is exactly yeah. is exactly yeah, right that's kurt's forte you know danny when you're when you're sharing a, a a great series first of all the writing as we as we both discussed was great but you're sharing scenes with uh, the great edward james almost that is a master class in acting <laughs> i'll tell you what uh edward james almost uh Early on in, in my studies, he came to my undergraduate college and gave a speech in, in, in Miami, Florida International University. And I had the distinct pleasure of listening to this man talk not only about acting, not only about Hollywood, but about our place in society, right? And, and what our responsibility is to our society. And so uh, to be in a cast with him to be sitting next to him and, and to be able to share, you know, Mayans MC, this experience with him, to me, it, I mean, it's almost, it, I, I could almost not find the right word for uh, how I feel, uh, as honored as I feel, uh, as lucky as I feel, as fortunate uh, and grateful uh, to, to, you know, be able to, to have this experience with this particular uh, actor, activist, human being. You know, the, um, the face of television has changed dramatically, even in the last 15 years. Mr. Almost, do you, I mean, when, when, you, when you're on networks like FX, you know, and, and the others, that has an amazing influence on the public because you can say things now that years ago you couldn't because of the networks and fear. How do you feel about that? I think it brings uh, the medium to a higher level. Uh, if you're really understanding the power of the audiovisual event and its uh, impact on the subconscious mind, you can do a lot of work, uh, you know, in trying to bring about a reality that uh, people will then have to make decisions and educated decisions can be actually understood. Uh, the future is in our hands, and uh, I highly recommend that uh, if you want to know a little bit of what's going on along the border and the issues to, to watch the program. It, uh, it's entertaining. It uh, has a lot of uh, uh, darkness in it uh, that you have to be ready for. But there is a lot of truth that's going on in this. And so I'm very grateful that uh, uh, El Elton James and uh, uh, Elgin James and uh, Kurt Sutter I have taken on the responsibility of trying to develop this kind of a world. Uh, it comes off of Sons of Anarchy, but I think that in the essence, it's its own situation now. Uh, season two is uh, is dynamic. It's one of those rare instances where the, the, the writing has improved upon itself because they're allowed to go further now with, with these characters. Very much so. 
Uh, our time is so short. I, I wanted to tell you that uh, you know you you were out here a few years back in Salt Lake City doing a, a teaching class. Um, what an amazing experience that was, Mr. Ramos. That was incredible. Thank you, Tony. I'll tell you what. I don't know if Mayans MC exists without this man. You know, I, I don't know if I have a career without this man. Uh, Edward James almost has uh, you know. Uh, taken it upon himself to expand the range of what is possible for, you know, uh, Latinx actors in, in Hollywood. Uh, and, and so, you know, this is a direct, uh, there's a direct line between his efforts and what we're talking about today. Uh, and, and, and what a terrific producer, director, uh, all round uh, uh, entertainer you are, sir. Uh, again, it's an honor to talk to you. I've got Katie Sackoff coming out to Salt Lake City in a couple of days for our annual Fan X and I get to host her. So I'm gonna say hello for you to her. Please do, Tony, and uh, give her my love. Okay, take care, gentlemen. And again, Mayans MC on the FX network. Binge it uh, from last year. If you haven't seen it, it's amazing. And, and get your dose of Shakespeare, get your dose of drama, and get your dose of Edward James Almos and Danny Pino. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Tony.